I got tired of my bike and lawnmower sitting in my driveway all the time, needed a shed. Went to Home Depot, found the Princeton 10x10, bought the kit. Over the course of two weeks, I came out here an hour or two every day after work and was able to put it up by myself. The directions will tell you you need a friend, and honestly, that, that's a much better way to do it. But I couldn't really dedicate a whole Saturday to putting it together, so I would rather come out here for little bits and pieces during lunch and after work, and I was able to get it done. This video hopefully will show you a few tips of how to do that well so you don't kill yourself or break your shed in the process. But honestly, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Hope this helps someone out in, uh, in your decision-making process. That's the area of my backyard. I dug a few inches down and put gravel in for those concrete bricks to sit on top of. That is 5 eighths plywood. I also had to buy separately. And that's the package that arrived from Home Depot. On top, I've got some treated lumber I bought to reinforce the floor. Put down those four by fours, also bought separately, leveled it all out. Then I started assembling the floor. Those are the instructions, following along, reading carefully. Leveled it out looks pretty good i was happy with that so i put the subfloor on top created a jig per the instructions built the rafters with the jig i didn't want to get a whole new sheet of plywood so i did use two little pieces in the corner there those are the rafters that were assembled using the jig little tip i wanted to make you aware of i was looking for this stud right here in the middle um doing this step right here and it is supposed to be labeled pr but it is not I cross-referenced um, the little index at the beginning of all the parts I'm supposed to have, and this board here was labeled NK, a part that I'm not even supposed to have at all, but it is the right length, so I'm using it, assuming it is PR, and uh, just letting you know, there might be some that are mislabeled. So cross-reference with what you're supposed to have and measure everything first. Don't just assume. Moldy, that's not what you wanna see just from a few days out in the rain compared to this new one I have to get. You can see the color difference too. This is a broken piece. You can see where it was cut off there. It's no big deal, but just be aware where it's broken so you can place it correctly. There's the front part of the wall. There are the rafters. Here's my base with one of the side walls. There's the other side wall, and there's the back wall. Tried to situate things roughly where they're gonna have to go so I don't have to carry them too far now that they're all assembled and heavy. Now watch me shooting some B-roll doing random construction things for no reason, even turning the camera the wrong direction. Okay, this portion is not easy to do alone, but uh, it is possible, I just did it. The key to doing it alone is preparing the brace ahead of time. So put in a screw down here on that part of the brace and make it so that it's strong up there. Even prep the screw there so that when you lift the wall into place, you can just grab that part of the wall, hold it while screwing it. A uh, little tricky, but I'm gonna try the same thing with this wall. I'm gonna lift it up alone. I've prepped the nails in place so that I can hold it with one hand, nail with the other. All right, after getting the wall up successfully, I transferred the brace that used to be here, put it in the middle, kind of attached it. That I wasn't in the directions, but I just liked the, the feel of this more when it had an extra brace for when I put this wall into place. Um, you know, you never know with wind and things, and I'm doing this alone, so just wanted to make sure it's a little bit more stable. Walls up. Time to put the front side. It's going all right. Coming along, part of the roof is on. Doors are on, nice. In here, put some hardware on. Got this piece here, okay. Felt paper is on. Some shingles here, starting to put them in. Upside down for layer one, right side up for layer two. One side of the roof done, the other side coming along. Roof is done, just finished these caps at the top. I think the end cap looks a little weird, but from what I'm reading, that's how it's supposed to be done. And there she is, done. I'll do a little bit of painting, maybe in the spring, but for now, I'm very happy. Here it is inside. I already have some, some tires there, There's plenty of room, spacious, I'm gonna put a shelf in. Overall, I'm very pleased with the way this turned out. All right, 
the project is complete. Overall, I'm happy. I think it's doable, even if you're just by yourself. A um, couple little tips. Look over all of the instructions before you start. I know it always says that and guys hate doing that. I didn't do it, but I wish I had. Um, also, buy everything in bulk. When you're buying nails, don't just skimp. Don't buy the three or four pounds it says. Buy five. Um, buy more than you need. You can always return stuff to Home Depot at the end. Um, I spent a lot of time going back and forth to Home Depot and it really was a pain. I recommend buying a big tarp. So if you have to stop for the night or you have to uh, run inside during lunch or if it just starts to rain, uh, whenever you're not out here working, you can cover things up so mold won't start to grow. You'd be surprised how quickly that can grow, especially on uh, the plywood on the floor if you've got sitting water there. So take your time um, and do things the right way. Don't try to rush through this. You're gonna hit trouble by the end if you rush. The other thing I'll say is if you don't have any construction experience, um, maybe this will be a great first step and you'd learn a ton, but I'd say be cautious. It will leave you a little frustrated. I've had plenty of construction gigs in the past and through college, so I felt pretty comfortable and I still was a little frustrated at moments. So if you are really new to this, read those directions, watch a lot of tutorials and buy all the tools before you start. And I really recommend having a friend come join you who actually knows what they're doing because otherwise you could just be really frustrated, maybe even hurt yourself, and certainly could ruin your shed. I hope this video helps someone, and uh, if you have any questions, throw it in the comments, maybe uh, I'll be able to assist. Have a good one.